Oh my God. I mean, take a look inside this cross. Take a look. Hello guys from my video Copelli, welcome back to my channel. I just start to say that this video is one of my best video because uh, really, really this one I start to make the I start to make the the focaccia and then uh, seriously this video start to became uh, very very emotional to me. So this video is really dedicated to my grandmother and then uh, also this video is full of uh, history basically that uh, it's full of history basically because i'm going to talk about a little bit of things in the meantime that we are making this video i just hope that you are going to like this video because this is uh, i make uh, i make the videos the most simple as possible this way you can also make a best product ever the best because uh, because that's the goal of my channel, to make the things very simply and easy. So this is a recipe, uh, this is an outstanding recipe, very easy to make. I mean, it's, uh, it's just follow the video step by step, and you're going to have one of the best focaccia ever, ever, ever. And this is probably the best recipe in the uh, internet. I, you know, I put my art in this video, so please check it out until the end and then uh, comment below. Hopefully you are going to enjoy this like I'm enjoying this, making this video. Amazing. Let's go straight into this recipe. Let's go and uh, go make this uh, amazing focaccia barese because that's where I come from. Let's go. Okay, all you need here, it's very easy. You need 200 grams of flour, 200, grams of, 200 milligrams of water, five grams of yeast, five grams of uh, honey. Let's get the water. Let's put uh, five grams of, uh, of uh, honey, five grams of yeast. Let's mix everything. Simply now, Let's dump the mix of water in the flour. Now let's mix everything up. Very simply, easy to make. This one will make your dough fantastic, very light and fragrant. So you can do this also for the pizza. Now simply make sure you close it really well. Now one hour you leave it outside at room temperature and then you put it in the fridge overnight. Easy, we made the polish. In the morning uh, we find our polish. A basically double up now what we need is just flour with 8 grams of salt first thing to do here you see dump the salt mix up the salt in the flour and now we're ready to go ahead and make the simple recipe let's dump the polish in the container now basically here we are reaching the hydration that we want to so dump the flour we make the dough we have to incorporate all flour in the dough okay now the goal here is to make the dough 
smooth as possible. So just like that. You're gonna close it, close it, close it. Done. This this amount of uh, dough is good to make two focaccia for eight inches each. Okay, now that the dough is resting, let's get a a, a bowl. Let's put a little bit of uh, of uh, olive oil, a little bit. Let's mix everything all the way. Now with your hands of uh, olive oil, you like get the dough from the bottom. Now we do a couple of times, just like that. We have to basically create a create a ball. Now you see when it's smooth, almost smooth. Even if it's not really smooth, you go ahead and put put the dough in the ball. Now let's cover up with the plastic wrap. Make sure it's nice and close. Let it rest at room temperature for two hours. This is the first time. Pay attention because we have step by step. This is the first rest of two hours at room temperature. Okay, here you go. The dough after exactly two hours at room temperature. Calculated my house uh, is a little bit more. It's a little bit warm today. So, and then easily and slowly we take out uh, all the plastic. And don't worry if it gets stuck because uh, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, reball it. Make sure to do these steps, otherwise, you are not gonna have the focaccia by Maestro Vito Jacopelli. Ooh, there we go, nicely. Let's save the plastic wrap because it's too expensive today. So let's go and, and let's get let's try to get the dough just like that. So you don't want to mix it up too much. You should always keep the top on top. Try to. Let's take off all the air. And then if it's too sticky, just put a little bit of olive oil on your hands. So don't worry about having some. There we go. Now it's detached. So the goal here is to make again a ball. This way, this way, there we go. There we go, fantastic. Now that we have the ball, let's put, uh, if you still have a little bit of olive oil on the, on the pan, go ahead and put again the dough in the pan. There we go. Now, Let's go ahead and let's close it really well like before. And uh, now, this time, let's leave a room temperature for one hour. So remember, two hours before, now one hour. Let's leave it and let's see how we find it after one hour. I have something to say really, really important. You know, you see me always uh, very, very happy, uh, enjoying the life and everything. But uh, honestly, today this recipe is uh, uh, really uh, dedicated to my grandmother that unfortunately passed away uh, five years ago, approximately. And uh, I just want to show you, uh, I've just found some pictures of my grandmother uh, making the focaccia here. And uh, actually, I have this picture in my pizza place. So uh, she told me everything about especially the focaccia since I was a very very little kid I want to show it to you uh, since I was a little kid not, not joking this one is me when I was uh, this one is me when I was uh, about three years old with my father at the pizza place he was making the pizza then here we have uh, uh, still me around when I was uh, eight years old with my brother making the pizza. This is actually uh, was a New York style <laughs> pizza in my, my grand, grandmother from my mom's side. Unfortunately, she passed away too and uh, they used to have a, a pizza place in Chicago. And uh, so I, I had to grow up in the pizza place business, which is uh, from my father, third generation, and from my mother, third generation.
uh, yeah, so, um, and this is uh, my, my father. This is my father again, when he was making the pizza, fly the pizza in the, maybe in the 80s. This is uh, before I was born. And then this is actually me again, making the pizza when I was at my grandmother from my mom's side, making the, the New York style, basically, here uh, in Chicago when I was uh, seven years old. So yeah, I mean, this is very uh, emotional for me because uh, I was, uh, well, every time I make a focaccia, uh, I think about uh, my grandmother here again, show you the picture. So I hope, I hope that uh, you will uh, enjoy this recipe. I hope that you will uh, remake this recipe and uh, nothing. I decide to, to shut a video about this amazing focaccia. Uh, let's go and uh, let's go back in this uh, amazing recipe because now one hour is passed by. Like we can see now, uh, the dough almost double the size. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, this time, oh, one thing very important. So after telling you in a couple of minutes my, my story, uh, I want to say that uh, let's go back in the focaccia. So this recipe is for about two focaccia, about eight inches each pan. But if you have a bigger pan, you go only one focaccia. So in this case, we are going to use two pan, about eight inches each. I don't have two squares, but uh, yeah, one circle because Today, I'm going to show you how to cook the focaccia in the barbecue and in the, uh, in the regular oven. First thing to do is we're gonna go ahead and put some uh, olive oil on the, this one extra virgin olive oil in the pan, just like that. Make sure you put quite, quite an amount of uh, olive oil on the focaccia, this way. So, the, like I said before, uh, this recipe that really, really uh, means a lot to me today. So that's why I, I really love, I'm putting my art in this video and uh, make it perfect. So let's go add a little bit more olive oil in the center. And now let's go ahead and we're going to split the dough in two parts. There we go. So if you want to be precise, Go ahead and scale the, uh, the dough. But in this case, what I like to do is I do this. I split it exactly in between. But uh, to be precise again, you can go ahead and, uh, and scale it. There we go. So now we make, again, one more ball. And we place the dough in the middle of the pan. Just one. Let's get the other one. Be gentle, be gentle. Voila. See, I put some olive oil in the center of the pan. Sta focalizzato, sì. Sì. Now we put the dough exactly in the middle of the pan. So, there we go. Now, one more time, cover with the plastic wrap. Just like that. Now go ahead and let's cover both of them. So now we leave a room temperature for one more hour. Let's wait. Here you go. The focaccia. Almost double sides. Almost double up the sides like you can see. But now is the nice part that we're going to go have fun a little bit. We're going to go ahead and put the ingredients. Wow. Take a look. Okay, this is what's next. Let's get one focaccia. And we're gonna put some uh, extra olive oil on top. And with your finger, we just go gently pressing. Make sure it's not, uh, it's some olive oil on the, on, the, on the bottom of the focaccia. This way. So now we just press gently with your finger. Not too much. They, you're gonna make sure that it's all the same size. Done, nice. Just a little bit, not too much. Like you can see, this is very thin focaccia, but you are going to see how it's gonna grow. A little bit of uh, olive oil on top, same thing. We move it just a little bit. 
This way the oil goes under a little bit because I didn't put too much olive oil. But they, you know, that's good. It's good too. So now let's press. For the focaccia, that's all we need. Some nice, some nice, good-looking uh, cherry tomato. A cassa marzano style, it's fine. I personally love some beautiful Kalamata olives. Of course, some fresh oregano and then some, uh, just a little bit of salt. That's all we need. Now it's time to go ahead and uh, put our ingredients. But one thing I want to say, what my grandmother, <laughs> what my grandmother always used to say, I still remember here in my mind, uh, she used to say, uh, Vito, uh, il pomodoro, I'm going to say exactly like how she used to say, the pomodoro, il pomodoro va scattato sopra la focaccia. That means the tomato needs to be, the tomato needs to be go break on the focaccia. So I like to cut a little bit this way, it doesn't squeeze everywhere. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, we basically gonna uh, we basically gonna break on the focaccia just like that. This is in dialect is scattat sopra focaccia. So, but the original way is that you're gonna break it with your hands and you're gonna squeeze in the focaccia. So don't be scared. So break it. If you don't wanna make a mess, see it's too much. You get tomatoes everywhere. If you don't want to go ahead, just go in the the easy way. Just cut a little bit and uh, pump, squid, squeeze it inside the focaccia. Nice. O pomodoro vai scattato sopra la focaccia. This is very dialed. This is the original way how they make focaccia in Bari in the 50s. My grandmother used to sell more than 20 to 30 focaccias per day. 11 o'clock in the morning was done already. Sold out. Every single day, guys. Every single day. Oregano on top. Don't be scared. Let's put some uh, salt. If you have the thick salt, it's better. A pinch of salt. Now let's put the olives. But you don't have to put the olives, you know, the original one is just like this. And some people put the olives, some people not. Done with the focaccia. Simple, you know? Let's go ahead and let's finish the other one. Oregano. Done. Now the focaccia is nicely made, done, like my grandmother and uh, Natalie. So today what we're doing here is uh, bringing the old tradition to the new style of life but uh, so first thing now is to let it rest we need to let it rest the, the the we need to let it rest at room temperature one more time the last time for about uh, 30 minutes at room temperature in the meantime we're gonna go ahead and warm up the oven and we're gonna set up the oven at 450 degrees and the same time i'm gonna go ahead and fire up the the grill the barbecue because today i'm going to cook the pizza i'm going to cook the focaccia in the oven, regular home oven, and in the barbecue. Let's go fire up the grill. We have a, a simple grill, but uh, you need a little stone on top, just like that. This way, the flame doesn't heat too much the, the, the bottom of the focaccia. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and fire up the, 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 the grill at the max temperature. Fire up at the max temperature, both sides of the grill. So now we let it rest. We're gonna close and we're gonna wait that the, the grill gets really hot. So around 400, but the, you know, just warm it up at the max temperature 30 minutes before and you're gonna go ready to rock and roll. Here you go, here you go, guys. It's time to put the focaccia in the oven after 30 minutes. So now we're gonna cook the focaccia at 450 Fahrenheit. Uh, you have to basically look at it. So basically, usually it takes about 15 to 20 minutes, but take a look always, when it gets a little bit brown, gold color, is ready to rock and roll. Vieni qua, papà, vieni. Che c'è? Facciamo la focaccia, eh? Ti piace la focaccia? So we're gonna put one inside. 
Aspetta, l'oliva, l'oliva. She loves olives. Tieni. There we go. The focaccia in the oven on the top. And we're gonna let it cook for a little bit. And now we're gonna go ahead and put in the same time the focaccia in the barbecue. So let's go. Here you go, guys. Let's place the focaccia on top of the stone. If you don't have a stone, put a sheet pan. Now let's close it right away and let's wait. Give it a nice check. The grill is about at 500. Now let's get a check, little check. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's cooking, it's cooking. It's cooking this one too. Can't really see it because I just burned the light. Okay, 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 guys. The focaccia. Let me check, microphone is on, la focaccia. It's, ah, it's ready. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Check it out. Check it out, check it out. So let's go get the barbecue one and then we're gonna compare it and see which one is better. And uh, here you go. Also the barbecue one is ready. The grill, the one cooking in the grill is ready. So now we're gonna, let's sit right here. Let's let it cool down a little bit, like 15 minutes. This way the tomato and the olives sits down in the focaccia and then we are ready to take it out, check it out the bottom. And of course, we're gonna taste it after. They cool down, let me see, yes. They cool down, so now we're ready to take it out. Like you can see, it's not sticky at all. Wow. <laughs> amazing, amazing. If you guys wanna see what I bought this, please guys, if you wanna see where I got this, check out the link below to get uh, this uh, type of pen. Eight inches, don't forget. Same thing, not sticky. Wow. Guys, those are, they came out uh, outstanding let's check out the bottom this one it cook nicely a little bit well done i had the grill at the max and then this one home oven oh this is still a little bit hot eh? not sure why not bad from the light nicely done are made for memories Guys, memories. I've been in this business all my life. And take a look what I'm giving you today. Okay guys, now I'm gonna place the microphone where you can hear the crown chip. Outstanding. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, take a look inside this crust. Take a look. Let's cut the other one too. And that one, the square one, was cooked in the barbecue. Eh? Don't forget that. Not joking, not joking at all. Okay, now is the best part, the best part of the video. Okay. Let's taste the, the one cooking in the home oven. I mean, this time, for the taste, you have to try this on, you do it, you taste it, and please, then after, you're gonna go in this video, and you're gonna comment below what you think of this recipe, please. 
this is my grandmother they give me this art this is art through generation by generation grazie nonna let's test the barbecue one <laughs> oh my god look, look at this slice look oh my god It's so light, uh, so fluffy, so full of air inside, you know, but uh, this is not a new taste to me. This is something that I grew up with and then really reminds me of my family. Thank you so much. I'll see you the next recipe. Thank you. Guys, eat this and you're going to fly directly to Bari. Promise. Don't forget to subscribe.